Hi fam, welcome back to my channel for those of you who have been with me. And if you're new, my name is Alike and I, sorry about that, am a mom, I'm a wife, particularly I'm a 40 year old mom. Well, I had my first child at 40 and he's now a year. And I'm a former model, fashion industry professional. I was a rep for a bra company and I represented about five different brands. And uh, the clients that we had were department stores like Neiman Marcus, Bloomingdale's, and Nordstrom. And then also something else that I used to do, I was a shoe fit specialist. So I guess I'm really into how things fit. How about that? So today's video is specifically about bra fitting and it's actually going to be the first in a series I want to do about bra fittings. Other things that you can find on my channel though will be things about trends, uh, my favorite things, uh, life as a mom, mom hacks that I can share, things that I've learned as a mom, styling, style hauls, fashion hauls, and again bra fitting and intimate apparel information. A lot of the corporate or I would say the formal term, there we go, the formal term for bras and underwear, ladies gar undergarments, is intimate apparel. So if you hear me refer to intimate apparel, I'm talking about bras and panties and our underpin underpinnings, spanks and all of those kinds of things. I have no consistency on posting videos yet. I hope to eventually get to posting once um, a week, but I'm not there yet. Anyway, so back to the whole bra fitting thing. I'm so, it's one of the things that I love most. I never in 8,000 million years would think that I would love bra fittings. It sounds kind of ridiculous, but uh, the reason that I wanna share this with you all not only because I'm passionate, but I really got to see it was so rewarding to see someone come in, get fit for a bra, and have not only their body transform literally right before their eyes, but also their confidence. It is an absolute game changer. And I have to say, it's probably one of the cheapest ways that you can actually transform your body the immediate results without doing any work and like I said it's the cheapest thing so the stats show over 90% I think it's even higher than that like 95% of women are in the wrong size bra so more than likely if you're watching this video I'm speaking to you and your friend and your mom and your sister <laughs> probably all you guys are in the wrong bra size but anyway if and you do need a bra a new bra it is the cheapest investment you can make in yourself. Sometimes we go into the stores and it's like $50 for a bra, $60 and upwards. I mean, upwards of $30. Some people, you know, have a hard time paying for that. But if you think about it, the amount you pay for a gym membership is usually about $30 a month. We won't even talk about the pricing of uh, surgeries. But one item, Hopefully you can buy more than one bra, but one bra, $30 or higher, is definitely one of the cheapest things you can get to see immediate results of your body. One of the things, and I will do a whole nother video on this, the benefits of having the right bra size, is you will definitely see a change in your body. Most women, and one of the things that you'll really, really notice is a new development of a waist. Like, Women get fit, they put on a new bra, and a waist just pops out of nowhere that you had no idea was there, which then creates a whole new figure for your for yourself. So that's my soapbox about bra fittings and why I love them so much. And then after, obviously, when you see that your body has been transformed that way, you're like, oh my God, I didn't know that I had this figure. Then women are just immediately so happy and then the confidence again like completely shoots up and it's just it was such a rewarding experience so anyway i hope i can convey that to you and i'm getting excited and doing the bra fitting so thanks for tuning in now to get to our technicalities bear with me 
It's a little bit of a process, but I believe you can do it. You are going to start with picking out your most supportive bra that you currently have in your closet. You're going to put that on and you want to put, so with your bra, you have the different um, hook and eye closures, rows on your bra, on the band. This is called the band, the part that goes around your torso is called the band. So you want to put that hook and eye on whichever, probably if it's an old bra, you're probably going to have to put it on the tightest. But it needs to be pretty as firm as possible. You don't want a bra that you can pull out. Now I'm pulling my tank top. But like your bra shouldn't be able to pull out from here. If it is, then you know that you need a new bra. It should be pretty firm because the majority of your support comes from the actual band. We all think that the support comes from the straps. That's secondary. That's not where your primary support comes from. Your primary support comes from the band around your torso. And with that band, you want it to only be able to pull from about two fingers off of your back. Again, if you can stretch it out to here, see like how far I'm stretching it? Well, not my bra, but my tank. Your bra should not stretch that far. So whichever hook and eye row will get you to the most firm or um, the tightest um, positioning is where you need to have it. So this is a new bra, and I'm going to do a review on it from where I bought it. But this is a new bra, so for me, I have it on the loosest hook and eye uh, row. And what happens is as you have the bra and wear it, then you tighten it and you take it to the middle hook and eye, and then the tightest hook and eye, um, yeah, hook and eye. So again, grab your, your bra, the best bra that you have, your favorite bra, your bra that fits the best, put it on, make sure your band is on the most firm row of hook and eyes. I don't, it feels like I'm not saying that right, but I am. And then you're gonna adjust your straps to be able to, again, kind of do like a two finger um, spacing. And mine is a little loose. I'm gonna tighten it just a little bit. I want it a little more tight. I don't want it digging into my skin. I want it to fit firmly on my body, but not loose and not super tight. So, and again, our bodies, FYI, are not exactly symmetrical. So you don't, don't adjust it just because this side is the exact same is don't adjust one side to fit the exact mirroring side of whichever side <laughs> because our bodies are different and not symmetrical you might have to pull one side tighter than, than the other is what i'm saying or one side is might be looser than the other so just fit them according to how each side fits with two fingers under the bra or under the strap and same thing, this is an adjustable tank as well. And so I can adjust it. Same thing as what I was saying with the bra strap. So about two fingers and it's pretty loose here. So I will tighten it on this side. So now that we've got our bra on pro properly, right? We've made some adjustments. And actually, I'm going to have you do one more thing. And you should have done this before the straps. But I will do, and this will be another series, another part in the series is how to properly, properly put on your bra. So you've got yourself on, basically. But what you want to do is we call it the lift and scoop. Lift and scoop. So you're going to take your hand. Get familiar with yourself and get comfortable with yourself, ladies. And you're actually going to put your hand, I'm sorry if you see things that you don't want to see, um, and you're going to take your skin and come as far back as under your arm, 
and pull yourself forward and up. That gets all of your meaty tissue, your, your breast tissue, because your breast tissue does not just sit right here. It actually comes as far back as about right here. And you want to pull all that nice meat right up front. And for those of you who are a little bit challenged like me, it actually provides a lot more cleavage uh, naturally. So you want to just make sure that you're feeling your, I was saying I wasn't going to expose myself on YouTube, but now I am. Anyway, you want to make sure that you have all you need in the cups as much as possible. And it also helps with, I know a lot of women, this doesn't bother me as much. I mean, I don't like it. Again, I'm still trying to firm up, but women that have this extra skin right here, when you do the lift and scoop, it kind of takes away from that as well. Okay, so now we've got our bra on, right? You want to get some flexible measuring tape, not the Home Depot measuring tape that you use to measure floors and home projects with. That's metal. You want a flexible measuring tape. Now, don't be scared of math, ladies, but we're going to have to use a little bit of math. I personally love math, so it doesn't bother me. So we've got our bra on, we're going to take our measuring tape and start with our first measurement. You want to use inches. Most companies, that's a whole nother story. There's European sizing uh, from, there's French sizing, there is sizing for the UK, and usually sizing for the US. Usually those are the three different sizings that you'll find on a bra and, you know, the metric system. For whatever odd reason, we all decided we couldn't stay on the same page. So here in the States, we're going to use inches. And you're going to take the, if you have a family member um, that can do this for you, that's helpful. But again, you can do this yourself. And so what you're gonna do is take your tape and literally wrap it around your body right underneath your booty. So can you see where I have it? So I'll sit it right underneath. You want it parallel to the floor. You don't want it down here like this. You don't want it up coming like this. That's not parallel to the floor. You literally want it I'm a stickler for precision, and bra fitting is not only a science, but an art form. So, as precise as you can get it, you want it parallel to the floor. And you are also not going to suck in. This isn't the time to see how cute and tiny you can be. Or actually, if sucking in actually brings in air, so it might make you even wider in your ribcage. So you just want to be, I just let out a breath. Take a couple of breaths and then kind of pull as you're breathing and then um, release it so that you're not, again, you're not holding in air and you're not completely breathless. You just want to kind of be at a natural state. And let's see, I am at... And I pulled it. I don't want to squeeze myself tight. Again, I just want it to kind of rest on my body. But you don't want it loose either. So, I'm at about 32 inches, which I'm surprised at. I've lost some weight. I'm at 32. So, take that number and write it down. And I'm going to write mine down because it's been a while since I've actually been fit for a bra. So I don't know what my new size is going to be. So you got that number, right? Write it down. Mine was 32. Then you're going to bring the tape a little bit higher, and our next measurement is going to be right across our areola. For those of you who don't know what an areola is, it's what we commonly call a nipple. Again, you want to keep the tape as parallel to the floor as possible. And you're just going to bring the tape 
Slide across. If you have a mirror, the best thing to do is do this in front of the mirror so you can see what you're doing. And mine is at 37. So I'm going to write that down. So the first measurement that you take around the bottom of your breast, around your torso, that is loosely your band size. Again, that's the number. That's what we refer to, refer to as the number. So again, the strap that goes around your back is what we refer to as a band. And that is the number size. So when you talk about your bra sizing, you're going to say you're a 30-something F, a 32B, a 38A, blah, blah, blah. The number refers to your band size. My first measurement that I took under here, I said was a 32. So right now, I can, if I were to go grab a bra, I'd either grab a bra, bra with a 32 band or a 34. You typically have to round up because of elasticity. I don't know the exact reason why, but, um, well, one, I mean, you don't want your band to be too tight. You know, most, and that's something that a lot of women complain about is that their bra is too tight. So, but again, I'm used to a proper fitting bra. So my bands typically, I like my band a little snug not harmful and not hurting, but snug, because I like to feel that support. Um, so for me, I would get a 32, but then I'd also try and grab a 34. So that's the, the band size. I said my second measurement around the areola was 37. So I'm gonna subtract 32 from 37, and that gives me five, right? So with the five and write that number down, that's how we're gonna calculate my cup size. This is your cup size. So the cup size is what actually covers your breast. Okay, so the letter of the alphabet determines your cup size. So because the difference between 37 and 32 is five, we're gonna count five letters of the alphabet. So A, B, C, D, E. So that would, I would start off, if I'm fitting myself, I would first go get a 32E. E is also, um, depending on the brand, again, I apologize for the inconsistencies between brands. Some brands go by Ds. Once you get to A, B, C, D, and after you get to D, they start to double, so double D, triple D, 4D, so some brands are like that, and then some brands just continue down the alphabet. So after D is E, then F, then G, then H. I can do another video on <laughs> how to uh, match sizing. So anyway, again, my difference between my first measurement and my second measurement was five. I counted to the fifth letter of the alphabet, A, B, C, D, E. And I said I would start with a 32 band size and an E as my cup size. So I would go and look for a 32E and try that on. I would put it on the same way I just told you to put on your first, your the bra for this measuring exercise. So I would put it on the loosest hook and eye, right? Because it's a new bra. It's going to be nice and tight, snug, firm. So I put it on the loosest hook and eye. Put my straps on, do my lift and scoop, adjust the straps, and then see how I fit. If it fit me perfect, I'm not spilling over and I'm not like there isn't gapping, you know, like in in the bra. You see how my bra literally lays like flesh against my skin. There's no bulk, there's no space and I'm not spilling, my skin isn't coming out. And I'd say, good. And then I could do my little test of pulling my bra, two fingers, off my skin, off my back. And if that felt good, then I would leave it at that. 
here's where it gets tricky. So before I was saying, whatever band size we took here, you can then round up to the next even number. So for me, it was 32. I would go to 34. If you measure at an odd size or even a half size, do the same thing. So if I measured at 31 and a half, I would go up to a 32 or a 34. If I measured at 31, I would go up to a 32 or a 34. So I would, so I have my 32E, right? See how that fits. If, let's say, um, I would also get a 34E, and then I would also get a 34C, right? Uh, and I would get a 34C because um, my second measurement was a 37, remember? So 34 from 37 leaves a difference of 3. And then we count to the third letter of the alphabet, A, B, C. That would be a C cup. So <clears throat> for me, again, I would stay with the 32E. See how things fit. See how that fits. See how my band feels, see how my cup feels. If the band is too tight, then just go up one, another size to a 34. If the 34 is too tight, go up to a 36. Do not get tied to the number. Who cares? Who cares? None of the brands are consistent in their sizing. You could buy the same bra, the same style, in two different colors, and they can def and they can both fit differently. Real talk. So don't get... This is such an art and such a science that it's not like clothing because you can, you know, if something's a little small or a little, and I mean a little, not out of, out of hand, but the things that we can camouflage with our clothing, you can't camouflage with a bra. You need to be as precise as possible. And the art part comes in with this whole, like, once you have to start changing numbers and things around, it can get kind of confusing. So, with that said, stick with your number. Stick with your first number, right? If the band, like I said, is too tight, then you just keep going up. And they're all even sizes for bras. So, except now some companies are coming out with half sizes and things like that. So, you just keep rounding up for the band size. So... Let's say the 32E, I liked how the band felt. Let's say the band felt good. 32E felt good for me around the band, but let's say the cup was too big. So then I would try a 32D. So E is larger than a D cup. So I would come down a size in my cup size. I would go from a 32E to a 32D. And then let's say that that fit perfect. Now on the opposite side of that, let's say the 32E was not big enough and I needed to a bigger cup size, then I would grab a 32F or a 32DDD. 32DDD and 32F are essentially the same size. If the band was too small, I would go up to the 34 and stick with the 34E. Let's say uh, the 34 fit good, but the E cup, 34E, was too big. Then I would, again, reduce the cup size and go to a 34D. If the cup size was not big enough and I needed more space in the cup, I would do a 34F or a 34DDD. So that is essentially how you calculate your bra, your bra size, ladies. You take one measurement below, one measurement across your areola. You subtract those two numbers. Actually, sorry. <laughs> you take those numbers and you want to make sure that you, you have an even number on the bottom. So again, if you measure at an even number, then subtract the sizes. If you measure at an odd number or a half size, Round up to the closest even number 
if you measure at a 31 and a half, then um, round up to a 32. If you measure at a 31, round up to a 32. Then subtract whatever the second size is and the first size, and you do the subtraction. The larger size always, you know, goes on top. So up here I measured at 37. This does not need to be a, a, a even or an odd number. It's just whatever number that is. I subtract 37. I've measured around here as 37. I've measured under here as 32. I subtract 32 from 37. The, the result was 5. And then you take out your alphabet, write it down, do whatever you need to do, use your fingers, and just count however many letters to get of that alphabet. So if the difference was eight, then I would count to the eighth number of the alphabet. If the difference was two, I count A, B. If the difference was three, A, B, C. If the difference was four, A, B, C, D. So you just keep going. And most of the brands that once you get into and the brands that carry past, um, I would say, and quadruple D, or which is also equivalent to the letter G, then they just stay with the alphabet. So H, I, J, K, L, M. There are women that go can wear like a size P. That's pretty far down the alphabet, but those sizes do exist. So anyway, that's how you literally calculate your own bra size. One more time. Put on your bra. Remember the way I said to put on your bra. Make it nice and snug. Grab your, your best fitting bra. Make sure the band is only going to pull away about two fingers distance from your skin. You want it snug, but not too snug, and you don't want it too loose. And if your best fitting bra is super loose, then just put it on the tightest hook and eye. That's fine. Then you're going to put your straps on. You're going to lift. You're going to scoop both sides. You are going to adjust your straps the same way. Do a two-finger test. Make sure that they're not digging into your shoulder and they're not falling off of your shoulder. Ugh the worst. You're going to take your tape measure, you're going to turn it around your bust line to get your first number. If it is an even number, leave it at that. If it's an odd number or a half size, a half number, round up to your closest even number. Write that number down. Do a second measurement across your areola, nipple area, and you don't have to change that number. You will write that number down, and then you subtract the smaller number from the larger number. Whatever number you come up with, you're going to take that number, and you are going to count each letter of the alphabet until you get to wherever that is. So it's, if it's five, you count to the fifth number of the alphabet. That was mine. If it's four, you count to the fourth letter of the alphabet. If it's eight, you count to the eighth letter of the alphabet. If it's six, you count to the sixth letter, so on and so forth. That gives you your cup size. And that is how you measure yourself for a bra. Now, I will do a whole nother video on how to order or what to buy because just because those numbers are presented to you, so today I measured at a 32E does not necessarily mean that I will be a 32E in every single brand or even any brand. You sometimes have to start making adjustments and that's where the, I think the difficulty and confusion comes in for a lot of women and why bra fit specialists are so important. But now with COVID going on, ladies, I'm so sorry. I don't know what we're going to do. So I hope this video helped you. I um, can be found on social media under a like no other. That's on Instagram. And that's pretty much the only thing I do besides YouTube, Instagram and YouTube. Um, I do have Pinterest and I think my Pinterest name is Dress Me Like. And Poshmark, same thing, Dress Me Like. And like this video, 
If you like it, please subscribe if you want to hear more. Um, definitely want to hear your comments. If you have questions, I'm here. I got your back. I would love to be able to um, answer any questions you have. Comment. Did I say that already? Yeah, that was questions would go in the comments, right? So let me know if you liked what I said, didn't like what I said, if you have a question, if you want more content, whatever, anything, especially in relation to the bra series, because that's what I'm working on now. But if you have further fashion questions, questions on trends, etc., I'm here for you for that too. Um, do you agree with what I said? Don't agree. And have you had any weird bra fitting experiences? What do you think bra fitting is going to be like after COVID? What is our life going to be like? This is crazy. Um, and that's it. I am going to sign off and come back with another video. Thanks for tuning in.